Hey there everybody. The purpose of this video is to get you guys some solutions to the fixed deck quiz. Um, I ran Excel around 11,000 times here. I would run it some more while we were talking, but I, I can't run it while I'm recording because they use the same F function buttons, F9 and F10 and things. So anyway, here's what I got, which is what you would expect it to have gotten in a fair deck. Uh, you expect to get, on average, two and a half red cards. So you can see the average split between two and three pretty nicely. A little bit more unlikely is one and four, and then the most unlikely is, uh, is eight and five. So that, that hopefully makes sense. Now let's run through the quiz questions here, which I think are here. There we go. How many trials did you run? Boom, I got about 11,000. And how many of those did you see no red cards? Looks like I got 336 with no red cards. Okay, I'm sure your, your number was slightly different, but I'm also sure it was probably pretty close uh, to that value. Um, use, to, use the previous two to estimate the percent of the time you should see no red cards. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to do equals that number, divided by that number. Oh, boom, oops. Oh, hang on one second, guys. I don't want to do that because I'm pretty sure I just overrode it somewhere else. Equals that number divided by that number. So I get about 3%-ish. Now, what you can do, I can't do it here because of the um, because of the way the F9 button is tied to the, the video recorder, but what's kind of fun is you can just press F9 right now and watch this percentage change or not change, as you'll see. It doesn't change all that much. Um, how does your number compare to the true value? And that's what we just said. It's pretty darn close. Um, I asked you also to co construct the percent error in your estimate if, if you wanted to uh, get an extra point. So all you have to do to do the percent error is you take the true value of 0.03125. I'm going to put that in parentheses and subtract from it your estimated value, which I now can't see. <laughs> Let me start this again. Hang on one second, guys. Hey, I'll do it below it so I can actually see what I'm typing. Take the true value of 0.03125 minus that value, and then you divide that by the true value of 0.03125. And we're off by about 2.3%. And again, what's fun is you can just keep running Excel and seeing how that percent error uh, plays out, but there you go. Then a screenshot for uh, for start for uh, finishers. Take a quick screen screenshot with a uh, snipping tool, for example. Drop that into your quiz and call it a day. You're done. So I hope that was helpful, and uh, we'll see you in class.